protesters are basically bombarding leaders here tonight. In fact, so many protesters showed up at the Mount Lebanon Council meeting that it is still going on a lot right now. You can see inside the window here the council meeting still going on. This started at 8 o'clock. Here we are. Three hours later, and still they are meeting because they've had so many speakers here tonight. But despite all of those speakers, it is clear that the deer cull is still going on. Protesters crammed into Mount Lebanon's council meeting, filling the seats to blast leaders over the deer cull. One would come to the conclusion that the deer are our predators. To the contrary, we are their predators. How dare you! The fury here comes a day after the cull began. The plan is to thin the deer population by 150 by trapping deer in these corrals, then killing them. We found several deer gathering near one trap in Rob Hollow last night, but officials say none were killed on the first night. Still, protesters lined up in the pouring rain tonight, holding signs, some with tape over their mouths, signifying that they don't believe they're being hurt. I think it's just a small number of people, the elite people, and it's polit politically driven that they just don't want deer in their backyard. There needs to be some thought given to a better, humane way to deal with the situation. But supporters of the cull were here too, claiming there are far too many deer in Mount Lebanon. They pose a danger on the road and they're a nuisance. Sitting in my family room with the door open, looking up and seeing a buck standing on my patio, looking through my screen door. Talk about scary. We don't let people destroy each other's property. So why do I and we as a community have to tolerate the destruction from deer? Despite the outrage, officials said the decision has already been made and the cull will continue until the end of the month. In a few developments tonight, council members said they're going to work on educating residents more on not feeding the deer and a permit to start a deer sterilization program is still pending with the state. Reporting live in Mount Lebanon, Bob Hazen, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.